Welcome back, everyone. I'm Davin Chitwood here at Kirkham Iron Tech, and I have our founder and CEO, uh, Tom Kirkham. And today we're going to talk about part two of the uh, IT and cybersecurity concerns uh, for manufacturers. Uh, Tom, what you got for us? Well, as we wrapped up the last video, yeah. and I don't know if these are going to be posted in order, but nevertheless, it'll be part two in the title. Uh, it suddenly occurred to me that we're sometimes client or prospects will come to us and they'll say, we need a penetration test. Yeah. And the first thing we ask them is, says, well, have you done a risk assessment? And they'll say, no, we just need to know what our vulnerabilities are. Okay. Listen carefully. There's a risk assessment, like a mm -hmm. NIST risk assessment or other types of us and compliance and regulation assessments. Okay. Now, Compliance and regulations may require you to do a vulnerability assessment. Now, that is just a, it's a down and dirty automated tool that's not free, mm -hmm. but it will give you an idea of uh, what the automated hacking tools can find on the, both inside and outside of your company network as far as things that unpatched servers, unpatched industrial control systems and CNC and CAD pro, uh, CAD computers and on and on and on right so risk assessment vulnerability assessment and then finally the last one that you should do is penetration testing now mm -hmm. a good pen test that's what we say in the business a good pen test uh are kind of pricey and if we recommend a penetration test for your organization, and depending on the size, you may decide to do it just for peace of mind and to further lower that risk down, right? It's a decision you have to make, right? All of these decisions and what to do are calculations to lower that risk. What's affordable? How much risk are you willing to accept? That's not a calculation that we provide we provide the recommendations of whether or not you need those things, okay? So a pen test is an active, human-guided penetration analysis. So along with the automated tools, they have manual tools. So when they see a port open, then they'll launch other tools, see what services can be discovered, and then see what vulnerabilities are there with those services and other ports that are open and and just other ways to get into the network. But it's not a, a passive automated test. It's an active, uh, an active, uh, well, it's really, it's just stopping short of actually doing the hack, yeah. right? You know, yeah. you, you, right, here's everything's got holes, here's your risk, and here's your exposure, and whatever that is. Oh, you're lucky it's a good guy. Is. So yeah. I want to make that clear. And I think that for uh, manufacturing concerns, especially if you have these embedded systems and other specialized computers and, uh, and other devices on the network, at the very least, you should add a periodic vulnerability assessment to the network inside and out. No, that's exactly right. And uh, what you can kind of take from this is it can, you can really break it down to uh, steps one, two, and three. First, you start with a uh, assessment, that risk assessment. Um, that is something that we offer for free. And if you haven't had that, there's we personally uh, recommend that uh, there's no reason to do a vulnerability or pen test and all that you have to pay money for if you haven't done that first assessment. And then once you have the assessment done, get some uh, preventative measures in place, then look at that vulnerability scan. Then after that, take that information back, uh, build upon your current cybersecurity plan and what you have, those defensive measures you have in place. And then if needed, then look at that penetration, uh, that penetration test, that pen test. And like Tom said, it's sometimes required uh, by certain compliance measures. Um, but to even get to that pen test in the first place, you have to have um, the other preventative measures in place first um, that come from having that assessment done. Yeah, well, a pen if you spend money on a pen test and you don't have the basics, you know, that the yeah. NIST... Cybersecurity framework <laughs> specifies if you haven't made a best effort to protect based on the results of a risk analysis, you're really throwing your money away. Yes. And if a, and your pen test may be five, 10, 20, 50, a hundred thousand dollars. Easy. Oh yeah. And, and you don't want, you, you need to have the right 
cybersecurity defense is already in place and you, you, you've got a track record of what it stopped and things like that, a pen test is the ultimate in, well, hopefully it's the ultimate. Once again, no such thing as 100% mm -hmm. uh, protection. But it will do that lowering down of the risk to your business. Yes. And if you're a manufacturer or just anyone listening today and you haven't had um, an assessment done at all, um, feel free to reach out. That's something that we offer uh, for free. And uh, we'll walk we'll work with your team um, to walk through evaluating what you have, uh, reveal any potential vulnerabilities, and then really take care of that first step of having that assessment done where then, um, if needed, move on to the vulnerability scan, that pen test. But if you haven't had that first step done, uh, definitely reach out and uh, we'll be happy to work with you. Yep. Other Very than that, well said, Devin. Yeah. Talk to y'all soon.